afternoon. I'm Zach Wiley. And I'm Kristen Feigl, and this is Wolfpack News for Friday, May 18th, 2014. This Monday will be the last Muffin Monday of the school year. This week's flavors include chocolate chocolate chunk, apple crumb, blueberry, chocolate banana, or vanilla. Stop by to get one for only one dollar. This school year is almost over and you may have library books to return. Drop your books off in the LRC or look for the red drop boxes in the halls. Clinics and auditions for students wishing to be members of the Color Guard are taking place next Monday, Wednesday and Friday from 6 to 8 p.m. All interested students should enter through door 3 and arrive to band room by, by 6 each evening. Past experience is not necessary to be a member. Wear comfortable clothing, gym shoes or dance shoes, but please, no jeans. See Mrs. O'Neill in the band room with any questions. Yearbooks were distributed last week and students now should have the opportunity to use digital editions to enhance their memories. Here's Vivian Evans and Caitlin Sass with more. Today, we have an inside look on this year's yearbook advancements. Predictions on the student body reaction to these editions have been positive so far. Um, I think they're going to be really excited. It's a new way to interact with a traditional book, um, and we just hope to expand it and do more next year. Yearbook Editor-in-Chief Ashley Clayton is the go-to person for details and the how-tos with this new hot commodity. Once you get the Yearbook 3D app from either Google Play or the App Store, um, just search Yearbook 3D, and you place that over our cover, it actually comes to life with a video. And then also this year we have Yearbook Shout, which is a QR code reader. Um, the directions are just in the app, so we have those new additions this year that are pretty exciting for yearbook. Not only has the new digital yearbook editions sparked attention with teachers and students, but it also set the bar high for what is expected to come for next year's yearbook. The LRC will be closed during periods 4 through 7 beginning Monday for the remainder of the school year. All students should be in their guided study, freshman seminar, or ASP unless they have a pass to see a tutor, to be in the writing center, or to see a specific teacher. Students enrolled in AP European History next year. You must pick up a green packet and return the last sheet with a signature by next Wednesday to Miss Friend's room. And now it's time for sports. Here's Nick. Did you know that Oswego East has a rugby team? Known as the Chiefs, they include several local high schools, including OE. The Chiefs won their first round playoff match on May 14th and are now just two wins away from state championship. They'll be competing in the semifinal playoffs against the Arlington Stallions next week. The game will be played at Crossroads Community Church at the corner of Eola and Wolf's Crossing next Thursday at 6 p.m. Come out and support the rugby team. All wrestlers, there's a brief mandatory meeting after school on Tuesday in the, in the wrestling room at 2.35. Please be there with, for important information. The varsity softball team is holding a fundraiser game on May 20th for Maddie Beetham, a fifth grade student in Yorkville who was diagnosed with lymphoblastic lymphoma in February. Maddie is a cheerleader, basketball, and softball player. Please come out and watch the team play Plainfield South, enjoy a cookout, and help out by making any donations to the family. The notion, donations can be anything from a small monetary donation to gift cards left over from the holidays. Any questions, please see Ms. Nussel. Boys and girls interested in running cross country, there's a mandatory meeting regarding summer running and the fall season starting Wednesday at 7 a.m. In, in room B250. See Coach Cook or Coach Milner if you have any questions. That's the latest in sports, now back to the Anchor Desk. That's today's edition of Wolfpack News. I'm Zach Wiley. And I'm Kristen Feigl. Join us again on Monday here on East TV Channel 16. Thanks for stopping by, Wolves, and have a wonderful weekend.